Red Bull, believe it or not, are about to get even better. And you're probably on the same page as me if you thought, how's that possible? Red Bull are set to introduce some upgrades at the Hungarian Grand Prix this weekend. Red Bull are going to be even better than what they are. If these upgrades are going to do what they're saying they're going to do, I mean, well, this is the confirmation we kind of already knew, but now it's set in stone, nobody else stands a chance. Red Bull claim with their new upgrades, which we'll get into in a second, that they will be two tenths a lap faster. Now, the upgrades seem to surround more of the body, so side pods is probably the biggest thing everyone is talking about. Now, the initial reports suggested that Adrian Newey has found a way to get that Mercedes Zero side pod concept to work. But more reports coming out are suggesting that that isn't the case. That isn't really the design that Red Bull are going for. Now, others are suggesting that it could be more of a water slide sort of design on the side pods, maybe something similar to that of Aston Martin. But either way, we won't know for sure until we actually see it, which I'm sure we'll be getting pictures of very soon. But one thing that is for certain is that these upgrades are going to be very visible. Max Verstappen did speak on these upgrades that Red Bull have planned, and to be honest, it's bad news for everyone else. Max simply said drag, low speed, medium speed, high speed, DRS effect, tire wear, all of these areas. So basically, Red Bull are evolving this monster that they have already created. And to be honest, total domination is already what is happening considering Red Bull have won every single race of the season so far. We are halfway through the season and Red Bull has won every race, which to me is quite amazing. But you felt like Red Bull have been sort of taking the piss for a while now. I think in Austria, Max Verstappen pitting on pretty much the final lap to get the fastest lap. Was Red Bull showing everyone that they can do whatever they want? They could have just cruised and won the race, but no, they have to get that fastest lap. They need to show everyone how on top they really are and how much better they are. Now, of course, some people are probably going to complain about these upgrades, saying that, you know, a team that is already dominating, they're just going to dominate even more and crush the competition. But what people forget is that this is what has been happening in Formula One, well, forever. There are periods of dominance, there are dominant eras, and currently we're in the Red Bull Max Verstappen one. Max is currently leading the driver's standings over Sergio Perez by 99 points. That's his lead over his teammates in the same car. So now I think I've said in the past that I think now it's about seeing what Max Verstappen can do in terms of breaking records. So I think now is a good chance for me to make some predictions. My first prediction is that Max Verstappen beats Vettel's win streak record. Now, Vettel holds that record of nine consecutive wins. Now, I think Max Verstappen will beat it this season. And I think if it is going to happen, I think it has to be, and I think it will be in 2023. Max currently sits at six consecutive wins. So honestly, he's not very far off. And if you look at the races that are coming up in the future, there is no reason why Red Bull can't do that. Of course, things still need to go right. I mean, a race with some crazy weather, of course, that could throw a spanner in the works. We saw what happened in Hungary in 2021. A first corner uh, collision pretty much destroyed half of Max's car, but he still managed to finish in the points. But that is that's aside from the current subject. But I think that record will be broken. I think Max is going to break the record. I can see him getting 10 straight Grand Prix wins. Second prediction, this one isn't so much about Max. This is more Red Bull. I think, I honestly think Red Bull have a huge chance of winning every race this season. Now, this is the thing, right? This would be an amazing achievement. This would be probably one of the biggest achievements a constructor has ever managed to do in Formula One. It would be incredible in a sense of pure domination and being so good and so untouchable that you win every single race in a season. That is an incredible 
incredible accomplishment that I think every member of Red Bull Racing would be and should be extremely proud of. That would be unbelievable. But on the other side, you are going to have people absolutely furious that that happened. Dominance can be looked at in two different ways, I think, if you're a Formula One fan. You can look at it as an incredible achievement, something that a team has managed to do, something a driver has managed to do, or you can look at it as the sport being broken and boring and something needs to change in order for a fight to happen or a battle to happen or for there to be a more even playing field. Now, I stand by what I've always said, and I think it is not up to Red Bull to slow down. I think it is up to other teams to catch up. I think that if Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen were having this wild teammate battle throughout the season, similar to the Hamilton Rosberg battle of 2016, it would be a different conversation. I think the pure dominance sort of gets forgotten about a little bit because fans are being entertained. There is a bit of rivalry. There's going to be controversy there's going to be stories to tell. Of course, I'd love to see a battle between two drivers or three drivers from different teams, but the reality is, is that that doesn't always happen, and you can't really be disappointed when it doesn't play out like that. This is the nature of Formula One. There's always been dominant eras, and there always will be. Red Bull are so far ahead, and these upgrades seem to have everyone in a state of either being extremely <coughs> off or extremely impressed that Adrian Newey and Red Bull have found a way to be even faster. This is going to be their fastest F1 car they've ever built. It's going to be even better than 2022's car, which already was their most successful car that they've ever made. This reminds me of Schumacher's 2002 season where he didn't finish below third place in 2002, during the 2002 season. If you look at those numbers and you see Schumacher 2002 season, I mean, it is just like, that is the biggest I'm him performance you'll ever see. And this is probably going to be similar to Max. If he doesn't manage to finish below second, which he hasn't, that's just crazy. The guy has only finished below first twice with two P2s. I mean, this is just insanity. This is crazy. These are stats that you write in the history books and you look back on. Now, of course, many things still need to go right. With Formula One, it doesn't matter how good you are or how good your car is. You still need a little bit of luck. You still need to get out of an incident or a crazy race unscathed, not being taken out by someone behind you. So obviously there is still the element of luck. But for now, you know, Red Bull are in this position where it's like, all right, guys, well, we could dominate the entire season, and this is our chance to do it. This is our chance to be the perfect team in Formula One. We have the opportunity to have a perfect season. Our team wins every race. 2023, we are halfway through it. If we just continue with this, we can go down in the history books as the team that produced the most dominant season of all time. Let me know what you think. I want to hear two predictions from you about what Red Bull and Max Verstappen are going to do for the rest of the season. Do you see pure dominance? Do you see maybe Max not beating Vettel's record? Let me know. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Feel free to follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes content and future video sneak peeks. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribed. As always, I truly appreciate your support and I will see you in the next one.